I don't get it. I wanted to see you in the Queen's Chamber for what? You said you said that to you? Yes. One minute. Jude! Jude! My priest. Yes. Can you repeat what you just said? Yes, my prince. I was here mopping. Jude came and told me that the prince, you, wanted to see me in the queen's chamber. Which Jude? Is it me? Yes, you. You You came here. Have you, for, you came here a while ago and said that the prince wanted to see me in the queen's chamber. Me? No. You must be dreaming. Jehovah. Are you trying to deny it? My prince, I don't know what she's talking about. Since morning, I have never left my duty post. What are you saying? My queen, he, he said it. He, he came here and said it. Who, who said what? That, 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 what? Let me see. Where did you get that thing? The royal ornament? Yes. Goodness. Your Majesty. I... I was in our room when Adoma here ran into the room and hid something in her bag before running out. I was so curious of her action that I had to search her bag immediately she left. And I found those. Ha! Ha! You stole the royal ornament? No! 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 Ha! No, I didn't steal anything. What is going on? My, my queen, I don't understand what is happening. I, I was here mopping. And then he came and told me that the prince wanted to see me in your room. I, I didn't steal anything. Yes, what happened? Tell me, what happened? Eh? This Azuka. is so unbelievable. I didn't steal, no. I didn't steal my queen. I am no... <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You had the guts. You stole the royal ornament and you are still talking nonsense with this for 50 years. What did you say? What did you say? Hey! Nice, shut up, shut up. Enough, shut up. enough, enough! My son was right after all. You're possessed by evil spirits. And that is why you do some things you do that you would say you wouldn't know when you did them. Well, I now understand why your family was banished from your kingdom. The penalty for what you did is death by hanging.
I'm tired. I am weak. I am exhausted. I can't move on. God. God. Adoma, my daughter. My sweet Adoma, you cannot be tired now. Hmm? Right now, we are sojourners on a journey. And a sojourner cannot be tired until he gets to his destination. For what destination, Father? Where exactly are we going, eh? Where we left is behind us. Our destination is just ahead of us. Ahead of us, you see. What is the name? What's the name of the place we are going to? Umudin Kingdom just lies ahead. And I believe that at Umudin Kingdom we can get those cheap huts that farmers make. No, we must find some kind of refuge there. Please, just summon a little strength. Umudim Kingdom is just ahead. Eh, Ada? Father, I can't. I am hungry. I am tired. My whole body hurts. I am thirsty. I can't. I can't go. Mm. My dear, I'm sorry. Eh? It's okay. Uh, my husband, I think what we should be thinking about now is how to eat. Not where we are going or where to stay. A hungry man has no mission except what to eat. I mean, how to find food. Adamo. No, are you are you not hungry? I'm hungry. Ah. I, I think you are right. I still have a little change in my bag. Yeah? What we should do is let us just go a bit ahead. We'll find a the market. There we can buy something to eat and continue our journey from there. Eh? Because, because, Adama, because, 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 get off. This place, this place is not really safe. Get off. Get off. Get off. Let me help you this time. Let's go. Just a little more strength. Just a little more strength. I want to pack and go. You want to pack and go? Yes, sir. Meaning we should pay? Yes, sir. Okay, how much is your money? Your money is 450, sir. 450 naira. For bread and water? Yes, the bread is to 200 naira, sir. We are strangers in this land okay. and we need a place we can stay at least for today put a roof over our heads is there anywhere you can show us okay if you follow that road straight down to the end of it ask anybody you see there to show you Ntutu Ntutu yes sir Ntutu will help us yes he will help you Uh, you say you want to close now? Yes, I want to close. So you will... Yes. Those that run many jobs here, 
made their payment every evening. But for those that have farmlands here, made their payment weekly or monthly. So depending on the job you are here for. And now jobs, weeding of grasses, clearing of compounds, running of errands. Eh? Meeting, fetching water. Mm. Fetching water. We can do anything, anything, as long as we can earn a living at the end of the day. Okay, no problem. No problem. This is the only vacant place. Yes, we can stay We should go and check. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here is the remaining hot. You can shake it. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. It's okay. We will pay. Just remember, in the next 10 days, I will be here to take my money. I don't want to hear stories. No, no, no sir. By God's grace, there will be no stories. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Let us take care of our Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Mama. Hmm? Now that I am through with school, mm -hmm. I want to go to the city and look for a job. <laughs> city? Yes, Mama. Who will you stay with? <laughs> Baba. Huh? Anybody. Anybody? Yes. Who is anybody? <laughs> Mama, a lot of girls that are in the city today does not know anybody. You don't have to have somebody in mind or know somebody before you travel to the city. They left, finally got themselves attached with the people there and that is it. Hmm. So, this. You don't need to fear. That's not my plans for you. I have better plans for you. Eh? Uh, mm hmm Okay. Say it out. Let me hear. Neka. Uh -huh. Do you know that there are some people that work in this kingdom and they earn far more than many working outside there in the city? Is Yoku? Yes. Oh, and I never heard of the company or the institution. Hmm. You won't have heard and you know. It's just that you don't know that they earn that much in that place. Honestly. <laughs> okay. So where is the place? Hmm. Do you know how much the queen pay the servants and maidens that work in the palace? Uh -huh. I Are they paid well? Hmm. Paid well. My dear, I could not believe it. Until I even saw the money. Somebody Are you serious? Was there. They pay them very well. <laughs> you know what? I said to myself that all those working there, they don't have two heads. Hey, and yes, they are not mama. better than my daughter. Mama, mama. So my daughter will work in the palace. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. That's Thank it. you so much, so, Mama. I think that is better. I'm, I'm working out something. We'll work something too. Uh -huh. So get you, you know, in there. You know how to do it so mm -hmm. that I'm I can get to the palace. Yes, I'm discussing oh, with somebody. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Must he sleep with every maiden that comes into this palace? Must he? And you expect me to answer that question? He's a prince for crying out loud and every beautiful girl out there will run into his arms on invitation. So why is he doing this to us? Why is he making himself less of who he actually is? Maybe there is more to this than meets the eyes. Like? Maybe he is born by an occultic brotherhood to perform this as a ritual. Maybe we are all sacrifices made for his deity through sexual rituals and we have no idea of it. Oh my god! Why haven't I thought in this direction? Um, greetings, this is my prince. Uh, where is my Tuzaba? Huh? Am I not talking to human beings? Huh? I don't know. 
I don't know either. I don't get it. You do not know the whereabouts of a maid you work with? What are you talking about? The last time I saw her, the queen sent her on an errand. Oh. Yeah, maybe she's not yet back. Oh, I see. What kept him? It took a long time. I'm very sorry, my queen. It wasn't deliberate. When I got there, she wasn't there, so I had to wait for her to return. I see. Yes, Your Majesty. All right. You can go back to your duty post. Thank you, Your Majesty. Again, oh God, I'm finished. Who will find someone to call? Is that an abuse? A compliment. This human being, in his right senses, would take compliments of an act that makes him less human than he is. This is modern day slavery. And I think it's high time we did something about this. Well, the only thing you and I can do about it. This to be done and leave this job, and of course you know it's the right privilege to serve in the real house. So, I wonder who among us want to lose this golden opportunity. You never can tell. Chizaba. Yes? The prince wants to see you in his chambers. Yeah? Now. We can't run away from it. We can't run away from our chosen nightmare. Prince of Umudim Kingdom, wait. My How prince. dare you? My prince, it's just about the violent mood that you did summoned me. I come off it, you know what I mean. Hmm? I'm sorry, I, I. Shut up! Go ahead and do the thing. Yeah. My, my prince. I said, go ahead and do the need for, right? Do it now. My prince. Come this way. My prince. My prince. Come this way. I don't know how 
have a choice. <laughs> the earlier you accept this as your fate and your lot and move on, the better for you. When you consider the high level of poverty out there in the kingdom, when you consider the hunger you will inflict on your people who look up to you for daily bread, then you will know that everything is worth the pain. It's a sacrifice we have to make for being privileged to working in the number one household in this kingdom. Let the end justify the means. <laughs> the question is, for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long will this ever end? When? I do not know when this will end. Maybe for as long as we continue to earn our salary from the Queen's treasure. Or maybe when the Prince finally gets himself a wife and then he's crowned the King of this Kingdom. Maybe. Just maybe. When I'm tired. When I'm tired, I'm tired. <laughs> The job is getting bigger by the day. And um, I need more hands on deck. I mean, even the, the prince, my son, noticed that the, the maidens are so little and he's complaining bitterly. So I want at least two more maids. Two more maids? Yes. I believe two will be enough. How soon do you need them, Michael? My dear, as soon as possible. As soon as tomorrow? As soon as today, actually. Okay, my queen, you'll hear from me. I trust your judgment. Trust, I always give you the best, just the way you want it. Thank you. Thank you. She's bringing new people tomorrow morning. Oh, interesting. But I, I hope you told her that the girls who work in the king's court should look beautiful and pleasing to the eye. So she was actually the one that brought the ones that are already here. Uh, do they not meet the standard? I'm not saying otherwise, they, they are good, uh, but I'm talking about the new ones. Well, she knows her job. You can trust me on that. Great. That's nice. Hmm. Wow, one of Umudin. Greetings. Good eh? evening, Ma. Yes, how may I help you? Hi. My daughter, we brought these two chickens for you to please plead with you. Anytime the queen needs extra maiden in the palace, my daughter is here. She just finished her diploma program in school and she's free now. Is this your daughter? Yes. Yeah, come let me see you. Turn around. Come on, you can see that. Okay. I can tell you. Very good. Thank you, ma. Okay. You will hear from me. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you, we'll ma. We'll be on our way. 
Thank you, ma. Thank you. Bye bye, ma. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, See the ugly daughter she brought. She wants me to take to the palace. This one that does not fit the palace taste. Ugly duckling. Hey, GK! Who is this boy? Hey, GK! Mama! Hey, GK! Hey, GK! Who got chicken? That woman and her daughter just left here now, brought this chicken to help them to secure a place for them in the palace. Please, take it to Ogbani. Tell him to give me the equivalent of the money. I don't need the chickens. It's big, oh. Take it to Ogbani. Tell him to give me the exact I don't need these chickens. Uh -huh. I, I can give you one and keep one now. At least we can use one for my purpose. I said take the two to Ogbani to give me the equivalent of these two chickens. I know the money you are supposed to bring back. Ah, one year I must not fall for my money. Who we'll take it to Ogbani? Mama. <laughs> Mama. Mama, I don't see you in the mood. <laughs> So who and who will be among the lucky ones now? Hmm. Um, you, your parents tried though. They gave me fifty thousand naira, and besides, you are beautiful. Hmm. You are one. So who will be the next now? Let's see. Um, you, your parents tried also. They really tried, but you are not beautiful. You will not be fitting to the palace. I can't take you. I can't take you to the palace. No. You will not fit the queen's Mama. Okay. Oh. There, there are some people outside the gate. They said they, are, they want to see you. Who are they? I don't know. But maybe they are from the neighboring village. But I, I'm not sure they are from this kingdom. Send them in. Eh? I said send them in. Ha! Mama! How can I allow Dirty to come inside the compound? I don't understand. Who are the dead people that want to come into my house? <laughs> How will I know? The, the only thing is just that they are smelling and I cannot allow them to come in. Education, then. <laughs> Mama, if you allow me, eh? Education, bring them in. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Madam, my name is Wokiki, and this is my family. This is my wife. Her name is Wanyi Nkwo. Good afternoon, ma. And this is our only child, our only daughter, Adoma. We are not from this village. We are from Umokika village. And we have come here specially to see you. So what can I do for you? Like I said earlier on, my daughter, we are from Umokika. But we were banished and excommunicated for a crime we are innocent of. Our enemies labeled us criminals and got them to banish us. 
we are innocent of those charges. So, how is that my business? <sighs> my daughter, we have been in this village for two weeks. And for those two weeks, life has been hard. We have had to feed from hand to mouth and basically live on scraps from the villagers. We survive by doing manual jobs. My wife and daughter run errands in the village. They fetch water for people, clean houses, and get paid meager stipends with which we survive, while I clear grasses and tend to lawns and farms for people. Life has been difficult for us. Just look at them. Life has been difficult. I don't need your services, so you may go. Please, my daughter. We have not come here to solicit for jobs from you. We have come here for something totally different. Then go straight to the point. Don't, 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 don't be offended. What my husband is trying to say is that, uh, you, you know, we heard that you are the one in charge of selecting mates that work in the palace. Yes, that is why we have come to plead with you. To, to please, uh, uh, let our daughter. Be, uh, 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 She's my daughter. She's a very good girl. Very humble. Loyal, God fearing, and of course, hard working. She can run errands. Any errand she can run. Yes, ma. Ma, please. If you do this for me, if you do this for us, mm. we will internally be grateful. Yes. Biko, please. Please, ma. She's a fine girl. Okay, you will hear from me. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell the Queen I am here with the object of our request. Your Majesty. Yeah, what is it? Achalugo is here to see the Queen with the object of the Queen interest. Oh, really? Uh, okay, where are they? Um, easy, easy, son. Easy, easy. They have come to see me, not you. Okay? Bring them in. The queen said you should come. Okay then. Now, girls, remember everything I told you. Please do not fold your hand before the queen. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Shall okay. We? Now let's go. Queen, Queen Greetings, Grand Prince of Umudian Kingdom. Your Majesty, I present to you the newest maid of the palace. You are welcome, girls. Thank, Thank you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Welcome to the royal home. Thank, Thank you, you, Your Majesty. Majesty. And what does the Prince of Umudim Kingdom think? What else, mother? 
They are befitting to the royal household. Thank you, my prince, for accepting my choice of meeting to the royal family. It's always a delight. Well, girls, the head of the royal servants will come and take you round the palace as an orientation class, and he will tell you do's and don'ts of this palace. Okay? As for you, Acharugo, you know how much I appreciate your person. And as usual, I will see you. I'm honored, my queen. You're welcome. May I at this junction take my leave? Go ahead. Jide! Jide! Adoma. Eh, no. <laughs> the prince requests for your presence in his chambers. It's wonderful. I'm coming. <laughs> eh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Initiation night. Initiation night? What does that mean? Um, never mind. You will understand by the time it gets to your turn. My turn? You scare me. You don't have to be scared. It is a part of your destiny you choose the day you decided to work in the palace. You speak in riddles, and that alone scares me even more. <laughs> Be brave, sister. Only the brave survives here. So you have to be brave. Why do I have this feeling? Something is wrong. What exactly is going on here? She is taking so long to come back and nobody wants to tell me what this initiation represents. Just like this. I don't want to talk about it. Now it's getting scarier. It's a routine we found ourselves in. And we don't have a choice but to accept our fate. Yes, it hurts. It pains. There's nothing we can do about it. Of course there's something we can do about it. Every human being has a right to life. Whether rich or poor, nobody should take that away from you. Look, we all have our dignity as human beings. What dignity do you have when the power to make or my you lies in their hands? 
What dignity do you have when your family look upon you for survivor and you in turn look upon them for monthly salaries? What dignity do you have when your entire source of income lies at the mercy of their decision? I hope you can decide to walk away with your dignity untempered. It is better to go hungry in pride than to feed well in slavery. Slaves. Sexual slaves. That's what we are. Well, I refuse to be one. Sleeping. Sleep has eluded me. Tell me, what transpired between you and the prince? Asuka, the prince is not what you think he is. He's a monster. Yeah, come in. I'm, I'm sorry, my friends. I didn't know you were naked. Hey, stop that. Mm. Stop that. Mm. Stop that. The, the chief palace servant told me that you needed my attention, my friends. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Uh, uh, my priest, my priest. I think... and... Are you okay? Uh. Well, I want you to warm my bed tonight, okay? Huh? Oh yes, I want to feed you. Huh? I want to enjoy you tonight. Look at how tall you are. Imagine me taking care of you. <laughs> Just imagine me taking care of you. My prince, what are you saying? Me? me. A, a maid? Warm your bed. My prince, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not your girlfriend and I'm not your wife. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't be stupid, yeah, okay? Don't be stupid. Huh? I am the crown prince of this kingdom, right? So, whatever I want is what I get. I can sleep with as many girls as I want. I've been through that. This is not the first time, so I can do it and get away with it. Did you hear what I said? <sighs> oh yes, once I desire you, if you like have a boyfriend, I don't care. If you like, ma be married. I don't care. Married or married, the boyfriend, no boyfriend. If I desire you, I want to have something with you, I will do it. <laughs> so I desire you tonight. Go to there and dress yourself. Let me make my prince. Dress please. yourself. Let me have fun. Make uh, me, I, I can't. I cannot do that. I, I, I... Oh. Yeah, that's it. The boldness. <laughs> You have the boldness to stop smash. Talk to me. No, 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 sorry, Are sorry. You please, please, you please, me. Eh? My please, 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 
Yes, I will allow you just because this is your first time in this palace. But I want you to get used to it. This is what I do for fun. This is what I enjoy doing. So as long as you are in this palace, you must give it to me. The way I want, I will enjoy you. As my fantasy and no one will stop me in it. Don't get lost. Get out of here. Wait, was that all that happened? What do you mean? Hello, <laughs> we Hey, Timo. So, all those riddles and parables were about us opening and closing our legs for the prince. Excuse me. I beg you. Do you know that you scared the living daylight out of me? Huh? I thought it was some sort of ritual and spiritual exercise. For you. I thought it was something so serious. Are you joking? Wait. A man trying to have sexual intercourse with you by force is not serious. I'm not getting something here. Yes. Is it a sex like normal sex that we have on a daily that you are talking about? Or is there another kind of sex? Huh? Ha! Adoma. Sex. Sex. Something that is sweeter than honey. Something that I will enjoy in the end. Yeah? And I was even thinking it's something that might cost me my life or something. Oh, please, some people should shift. Let me sleep. Shift because no need to Ha! Sex. Then I try to gain. We have come to thank you, my daughter. We have come to thank you for listening to our plea. It would not have been easy listening to poor people like mm. us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my sister. You don't know what you've done for us. You have lifted a great burden from us. And because of this signal act, we are the God of the poor, the God of the oppressed, and the God of justice. We reward you immensely. Yes. Well, thank God for blessing you with a beautiful daughter. If not, you will not have been come here to thank me. It's her beauty that took her to where she is now. So let's give all the praise to God. God, thank you. <laughs> God, Chuko Kikia Abiyama, mm. thank you for blessing us with such a precious and beautiful daughter. Thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God, my Dalma. Bless you too. Thank you, my friend. Achalego took two girls to the queen and they already started working in the palace as a maid. It's a lie. The news is everywhere. I said it's a lie. Ha. Mama, will I be <laughs> lying to you? Huh? After all the gifts we gave to her, the fowls and everything. I'm telling you. This is an opportunity she would have used to take you into the palace. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, this is not fair. Why is she like this? Hmm. Mama. Azuka. <laughs> the daughter of uh, Ibanugo now, the famous wine tapper. That girl. <laughs> that girl that sleeps with everything. Thing in trouser. In the name of I'm a beautiful girl. Eh? That is who Achalugo took to the palace. So, and she has already started work. That girl. Hey. 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 And the, the other girl, do you know her? Hey. They said 
she was banished from her village with her parents who that she's from Umokita Kingdom. Mm. They live in a house of uh, the town. She's not even from this village. Oh. Mm. That's the second girl. What? <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> huh? I don't know. Uh, Why should I Chalugo bring in somebody? A stranger eh? from another village. Mama, no. I don't know. That's the opportunity she should have given to you. No. This is mean of her. I'm she didn't do well. You, I told you, let's go and collect the ifa but You say leave her to mm. her fate. Now you have seen that she has carried mm. another person that no, is not even from this coin. With girl. this, I think we will pay her. Uh -huh. We'll pay her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey. Uh -huh. Somebody outside this thing. Yeah. Somebody is not even from Bad. here. Bad. She's not even from here. Yeah, we can. Come here. Good morning, my prince Chan. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I was sent by the chief guard to come and tidy up your room. Oh, really? Yes. You're free, eh? Right? Do your thing. Good. What? What? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you looking at? Meaning what? Whatever. Mm. As they sweet me, they pay her. As they sweet me, I'm going to go pay you. As <laughs> they sweet me, they pay you. As they sweet me, I'm going to go pay what? you. Prince. Hey, hey, are you okay? Please, my prince, I, I would suggest you don't you don't do that next time. Please. What? What? Are you mad? Huh? How dare you talk to the crown prince of Umudim Kingdom in such manner? Are you stupid? Huh? So sorry. Look at this local fowl that I picked up from the dungeon and brought you to the palace. So you have the gods, the fun tree, to talk back at me? Are you mad? Huh? I better be careful with me. Huh? Better be careful. Because, uh, let me tell you something. It's a rare privilege for you to have it, such a thing with the prince. So you should be happy. You should be jumping up and down by now. My, my prince, I might, I might be from the dungeon, yes. But I'm a human being. I deserve some respect too. Imagine if I was your sister, would you? Would hey, you... shut up! How dare you compare yourself with my sister? Are you mad? Eh? Who gave you that God? What gave you that God? I'm sorry. Rubbish. Hey, 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 come back here. I'm not done with you. Are you okay? I'm not done with you. Let me tell you what you're going to do now. Go into my chamber. Remove this clothing you're putting on, okay? Make yourself free. Allow fresh air to enter in there. Eh? Spread your legs. I have AC, I have air conditioner there. Spread your legs. Allow it to face the AC. Eh? So the fresh air can come in before I come and join you. I'll take care of you when I come. I hope you heard me. Do as I said now. Oh, 
lugares. You wouldn't give up on your rights. Maybe you should just give in to his demand, just like we all did. Especially if you are still in need of this job. I'd rather not talk about it. No, 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 my dear. So that poor girl thinks she's smart, right? Who does she think she is? She's over, I am telling you. Yeah. Did you see the guy I was dating before I came into this palace? Hmm. Hey! Where is she? I said, where is she? Is where is that stupid butterfly that thinks herself a bird? Huh? Where is she? Who, my prince? I am talking about me, the uh, Adoma. Where is she? She's in our room, my prince. Go fetch her for me now. Go, now. When I said now, go down. Now, go. Rubbish. I will know who, who gave her the guts. I'm going to call her for me now! Now! Mother, what have you done to the prince? I have done nothing wrong <laughs> He's down there raining fire and brimstone. He's looking for you! Let him rain whatever he wants to rain. All I know is that I have done nothing wrong. Yeah. Then go and answer your call, Virgin Mary. And what was that supposed to be? What was that? Who is that question for? Huh? As if you don't know the reason the prince is upset with her. How am I supposed to know? Cho. I don't know. Cho. Trailer fell a break. Pretenders everywhere. Yeah, Bia Azuka, please. I beg you in the name of God. You respect me the same way I respect you in this palace. We are two different persons. However you've decided to live your life is your business. However, I have decided to live my life should be my business. Please, I beg you in the name of God, let us respect our boundaries. Biko. Answer your call. Virgin Mary, answer your call. Azuka, oh, it's alright. It's alright. Virgin Mary, answer your call. Oh, what is alright? It's alright. What is alright? It's all right. it's all right. it's all right. it's all right. of your business. She should go and pay her dues. How is it your business, Azuka? How? Huh? Mm hmm. Well, what are you saying? Huh? A whole prince. The prince of this kingdom is asking her to bring that her useless self to him to enjoy something that she will enjoy too. Madame, and she's forming sense because you're giving your own to him for free and you're enjoying it. Doesn't mean everybody's enjoying it like you. Is that it? Yes. You think I'm giving it for free? Yes. They will soon chase you out of this life. You see this free that you think that I'm giving it to him. They will soon chase you. They will chase you first. Look at this. They will chase you. Look at this one. one. It is because if you have any other thing you will do in this village, that's why you are here serving. Look at you. You are so You are so funny. You are funny. Yes, yes, come out here. Were well, you not know, the one I told to go and wait for me in my chambers? Huh? I saw me before I lose it. I'm sorry, my prince. I am very sorry if my actions upset you in any way. Oh, my prince, please. I'm a woman. I I've got pride. I cannot lose my womanhood in such derogatory manner. Oh, I see. Are you trying to tell me that you're a virgin? Tell me, are you a virgin? I have not said so, my prince. Then what stupid womanhood are you talking about? My prince, a woman's body is her pride. And she chooses whom to give it to and whom not to. Forcing yourself on a woman amounts to sexual abuse. 
and I know the future king of this kingdom will not associate himself with such evil acts. Hey, shut up! How dare you tell me how to live my life? Not. Are you insane? Are you mad? Eh? How what dare you? Hey, mother. It's nothing serious, okay? I will handle it. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? Medadoma, what is the problem? Your, your son. Hey, sh oh, mother, I said it's nothing. I, I did not ask you. I'm listening, Nada. Your Majesty, just as the prince said, it's nothing. Very well then. You may go back to your duty post. Thank you, What in heaven's name just played out? What just happened? Wow. My mother, the queen, nearly caught me. A lifestyle I've enjoyed for years. And she isn't aware of it. All because of that fool. All because of that low life. Imagine her telling me what is expected of me. A common palace maid. <laughs> Rubbish. Why are you making yourself less of what you are? Oh, you have no control over your heart. Why? Why? I saw everything. I heard everything. Mm. Where did you hear the part where the queen is not aware of all this madness? Everything. I saw it all. Good. Brings me to my question. Why is it that none of you have had the courage to speak up? I mean, tell the queen, sis. She is not aware of it and she could do something to stop this whole craziness. Can I ask you a question? Yes. If the queen is put on a fix to choose between you and her son, do you think she will ever look your direction? When it comes to maintaining class and societal status, don't trust noble men. Their ego is worth a thousand times more than your life. My daughter, we have come to show you our heartfelt gratitude for what you have done for our family. It's unfortunate that we didn't come with any gift. I know you must be expecting gifts. But we barely feed. We barely feed. Not to talk of buying gifts, the kind of gifts you are accustomed to. We can't afford it. But we have come to tell you today that our daughter's first salary, her first salary from the palace, we will present it to you as a gift. That is her first fruit and we believe you deserve it. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, my sister. My husband and I have thought of the kind of gift to give you to show you how happy we are. Because you've done so much for us. So much. You saved a generation. You lifted hunger, starvation, Homelessness and penury from us. And we are not taking it for granted. We are not. So we have thought of how to get a meaningful and tangible gift. And of course, you know we are managing. So we have decided. We have decided that our daughter's first salary presented to you. Thank you very much. Oh, that may not be necessary. You see, the Lord has already blessed the two of you by giving you a beautiful daughter. And the only thing I did was to connect her to where her beauty is most needed, which is in the palace, you understand? So in that case, I am not the one you should be giving a salary to, a first salary. Give it to God. 
God deserve it, you understand? My daughter, you are not only blessed with beauty and intelligence, but you also have a good heart. Mm. God will bless you. Mm -hmm. I'm already satisfied with the appreciation you came with this morning, you understand? That alone is satisfying. What will happen is also the salary your daughter will be earning, you can bring. But this first one belongs to God, not me. Oh. Ha! You are such a good woman. And my God will continue to bless you for Amen. us. Amen. Ha. Amen. The way you granted our heart desires, the same way God will grant your own heart Amen. desires. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Woman, please show me some respect. I know you're a woman, but you're a woman that works as a maid in this palace. You know that, right? My prince, a woman is a woman. Whether a maid or a princess, they both deserve respect. I see. Okay. Let me make it straight to you. You have to choose. You have to choose between the job that you do here that we pay you for. Or that your silly respect. Because as long as I see you in this palace, I will continually go for what I want. I must get that to my prince. In that case, I will have to report you to the queen. What did you? What did you just say? Do you hear what I said? Hey! Uh, 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 are you mad? How dare you say such a thing? Let me tell you something. If you want your peace in this palace, do not try what you just said. Did you hear what I said? I will frustrate your life in this palace. Oh yes, I will frustrate your life and that of that your wretched father and poor mother. I, I will say, don't dare try me. If you try me, I will mess you up. Are you okay? I will, let me tell you something. If you want to leave, you can leave this palace in peace. If you want to leave in peace, you leave. But if you dare try me, I will scale you alive. I will kill you. Prince, I need this job. My poor parents depend on what I make from this job. But that doesn't mean I should allow myself to be dehumanized because I want to keep this job. The choice is yours. Yes. The choice is yours. If you want to continue with your job and earn money, and enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Then fine. But if you want to continue with your silly respect, so be it. Some people 
will be acting like saints. Deputy Jesus. What is it? Hmm? The queen is in the guest room. She sent for you. For me? Why are you asking that question? Are you deaf? Did you not hear me? Please go and answer her. You're asking me for you. Mm -mm, for me. <laughs> Pretender. Pretender. You think I don't know who you are? I know you. Pretend as they say do divorce. And that is exactly what you are doing. Look at you. Wretched thing. You are acting as if there is somewhere you stock up money. As if there is somewhere you bury money. I know you don't have anything. You don't have nothing. See, I can't wait for that day. That blessed day that you will cry out of this palace. You will pack your things and move out shamefully. I can't wait. Pretender. Sentin Wogo. Look at this one. I know you are nothing. <sighs> you are sweet as ever. You're so sweet. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you, my yeah, prince charming. Mm. <sighs> mm. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering, my prince, mm. why are you letting yourself so down? Like, why are you stooping so low to the level of that dirty girl, Mida Doma? Why are you forcing yourself on her? I want to be no part. I... Hey, shut up! Are you my wife? Are you my girlfriend? I want to get it. You are now telling me what to do or not? Huh? Mm -hmm. Now listen. Let me make it clear to you. That we're having a thing that you're warming my bed does not make you my girlfriend. It does a mere palace servant. Okay? So don't ever in your life tell me what to do or not. Did you hear what I said? Get out of this place. Get lost now. I said get out of this place. Get out of this place. <laughs> Adoma, the prince requests for your presence in his chambers. Majesty, please, please, I am very sorry. I was busy dusting the cushion when the message came, but I, I don't know what happened. I, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Please. You forgot. You forgot. You actually forgot that I sent for you. I'm so sorry, my queen. Please, I, I don't know what happened. I, I had a lot on my mind and I have been so distracted lately. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Please. Forgive me. My son was right after all. Right? Right about what, my queen? That you, a butterfly, thinks you are a bird. Let me ask you a question. Why would you disrespect the royal family? 
Why wouldn't you give honor to whom honor is due? My queen, please, I am sorry. But honestly, I, I have never disrespected anyone in the royal household. Not even the prince, my queen. You just lied. Even in my presence, you did. You I, lied about it. I am sorry. Anyway, my son has told me everything. Yes, yes, come out here. Were you not the one I told to go and wait for me in my chambers? Eh? I saw me before I lose it. I'm sorry, my prince. I am very sorry if my actions upset you in any way. But my prince, please. I'm a woman. I I've got pride. I cannot lose my womanhood in such derogatory manner. Oh, I see. Are you trying to tell me that you're a virgin? Tell me, are you a virgin? I have not said so. Then what stupid womanhood are you talking about? My prince, a woman's body is her pride. And she chooses whom to give it to and whom not to. Pressing yourself on a woman amounts to sexual abuse. And I know the future king of this kingdom will not associate himself with such evil acts. Hey, shut up! How dare you tell me how to live my life? Not. Are you insane? Are you mad? Eh? How dare you? Mother, it's nothing serious, okay? I will handle it. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? Medadoma, what is the problem? Your, your son. Hey, sh oh, mother, I said it's nothing. I, I did not ask you. I'm listening, Nada. Your Majesty, just as the prince said, it's nothing. Very well then. You may go back to your duty post. What are you sent for me? What just happened out there? Oh, that? It was nothing, mother. I want you to tell me about it, or I will be forced to believe whatever I want. Mother, like I said, it was nothing serious, okay? And I do not want that poor girl to lose her job, the reason I don't want to tell you about it. So tell me about it, and I will pretend I never heard anything. Okay, mother. But I do not know where Chalugo picked that poor girl from. Oh yes, I do not know the orientation she has about this palace. About this royal family. Because she doesn't have any iota of respect for us. That's a lie. But I'm serious. Can you believe that that girl practically ignores my call? disobeys my others and um, and flouts the laws guiding this palace. What? No. You did not just say that. But I wish I didn't. But I'm telling you the truth. I can't believe this. But that girl looks so innocent and humble. Yes, she looks innocent. But she's different from what she actually looks like. Oh my God. Mother, do not allow this to bother you, okay? Allow it slide. Let's watch her. Son, if I had not given you my words, I... It's fine. Oh my God. My queen, I have never despised you. I have never despised anyone in the royal household. The prince lied. So what happened today? Dear prince, dear prince, your majesty, today I was, I was just confused. I had a lot on my mind. By the time I was done, I forgot. Honestly. 
My son saw it and complained about it. And you did the same thing to me. Why are you denying it? Your Majesty, I'm sorry. But the prince lied. Honestly. Why would my son lie against you? Because... You see your life? Because the priest wants to have canal knowledge of me, but they wouldn't let him. What? What did you just say? Yes, it's true. He wanted to have me. Why are you lying against my son? My queen, I'm not lying. I am telling you the truth. And you want me to believe this? Majesty, I, I can swear before any deity. I'm not lying. Of all the maids in this palace, both old and new, my son would choose you, dirty you, to frolic with. Majesty, the truth is, it's not just me. All the other palace maidens too, but none of them has the courage to, to speak up, my queen. Serious. Jine! Jine! Has my son, the prince, ever assaulted any of you sexually? Touched you in an inappropriate manner? Or slept with any of you. Tell me now, or forever remain silent. Oluchi, Choma, Choma, speak up now. The queen is asking. You people are silent. Why are you people quiet? What is going on? The queen is asking. Speak up. Medo Luchi. Who my queen? Chioma. Your Majesty. Are you sure? Has my son assaulted you before? No, Your Majesty. You're sure? Yes, Your Majesty. Azuka. Your Majesty. What about you? Your Majesty, don't mind this pretender. How can the prince of this kingdom stoop so low to sleep with his mates? Don't mind this stupid girl, Your Majesty. You're sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure, Your Majesty. You all can leave. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Adama, stay behind. I just denied the obvious. Just like Peter, who just denied our savior. Someone that took the risks to save us from the nightmare we've been living in all these years. <sighs> but Peter denied Jesus three times. We only denied Adama just once. And you're here panicking. Now that same Peter was afraid of the Jews. He would have been stoned to death immediately by the angry Jews. But he had no other better option than to deny him. Even Jesus Christ himself understood. So tell me, what will you have us do? No, you want to lose your job? No, fine, if you want to lose your job, me. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. That is what I'm using to take care of my family and my village people. Please, oh. It's just that I feel so terrible. My conscience pricks me. Hmm. Don't seem to get conscious now. Oh, Same here, oh. But... There's nothing I could have done. 
Because me, I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose my job at all. <coughs> my sisters, why are you worrying yourselves? Eh? You don't need to worry yourself so at all. Even the Bible says that since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and only the violence take it by force. We are in the jungle. And you know, in jungle, there is no brother, there is no sister. Only the smart animals survive. That is why it is called the survival of the smartest. Your Majesty, my queen, please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, I beg you. I promise you everything I said was the truth. I swear to God in heaven. My queen, I do not know why they, they, they denied and lied, but I'm sorry. I am just begging you for just one more chance. Just just one more chance. And I promise I'll be a good girl. I will not cause any trouble. I will not, I will not say anything anymore. Please, I don't want to go back to my parents. They will be devastated. Please, my queen, I beg you, please. Please, let me make you. <laughs> you would have thought of all those things before you did what you did. Well, your services are no longer needed in this place. You're a very bad influence. So you will go back to your room, remove the palace uniform, and wait for the next order. I... Leave. Thank you, I'm sorry, but I told you we shouldn't have. I do not need your apology. And I certainly do not need your explanation. Fine, but... But... but shh, please. Okay, fine, but... Please. I am done here. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, God, I'm So, finally. Deputy Jesus, Virgin Mary, Afa Mulu Jesu is leaving the palace. Hey, Azuka, you are a great prophetess, a very great one. Manona Mumadra Adil and Abenya, that is why they are neglecting you. Manaso Badro, did I not prophesy about it? I prophesied about this. On a Melfuria. 24 hours that I prophesied about it. Otasu. Ome, now it has happened. Please let me tell both of you. Henceforth, you should be bringing your tithes and offerings to me, Maki to, to, to avoid generational causes. Bring ye your tithes and offerings to me. Wait, she, she fired you? But we wound you. We wound you. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> I just denied my colleague who was fighting for us. Now she has lost her job. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, don't mind, will you ever forgive me? <laughs> Is it 
Queen. No? Your Majesty. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hope all is well, ma'am. But my you too. Okay, I should be coming right away. Okay, ma. Right now. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. I'm on my way, ma. Okay, ma. I'll be there right away, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. What kept you? I'm so sorry. I'm so really, really sorry. I had an emergency. I had to take my mom to the hospital. And my dad is not around, so I couldn't have left her with my younger ones. Okay, it's fine. Uh, just that the queen summoned all of you. But I already told her that you went to see your sick mother. Oh, thank you. Uh, do I need to go see her? I don't think there is need. <sighs> thank you so much. Talk to me. What is it? Oh my God. Wait. You shouldn't be what I'm thinking. The prince. The prince did what? The prince despises all the maidens in the palace. He sleeps with them at will against their consent. He he wanted to try it with me, I refused. And he lied against me to the queen. I tried to tell her the truth about what happened, but she won't believe me. Why did you come and tell me first? Why do you have to report the prince to the queen? Very sorry, ma. It's just that he lied against me. I needed to claim my name. But Komose should have told you that this will land you in trouble. And will amount to your sack. Now, see where you have landed yourself. What are you going to tell your poor parents? Hey. Where are you guys going to? Waiting, my friends. The queen just fired her. What? Fired her for what? Why? What did she do? Are you? What did you do? I don't know. You don't know? What you do. Madam, please. Let us go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Very well then. I'll I'll be with my mom. Don't make me believe you are disturbing me. Let's go. Mother, what's going on? What's going on where? The maid that you fired. Her services are not needed anymore. Oh. Do you have a problem with that? Not really. Just that um, I thought you promised me not to. What is going on, mother? Well, I changed my mind when she started ignoring my calls. Hmm. She did? Yes. She did. By the way, why all these questions? Is there something you're not telling me? No, nothing serious. I just, uh, I... It's not a mother. Uh, never mind. Excuse me, please. Mm. 
trade. So finally, I didn't have this girl. And she left the palace. Hey, hey. Prince Ukoma, this is not you at all. You always get whatever, whatsoever you go after. How can a prince like me, lost and desire after a common palace maid and fail to have her? No, this doesn't sound right. It's not right at all. Take pity of us. Remember, to err is human, but to forgive is only divine. Please, pity us. Look at my wife. Madam, Auntie, Auntie, please. You are only hope, our last hope. Please, help us beg Her Majesty to take our daughter back. Please, be gone, be gone. please. You talk as though I have the power to help, but don't want to help you. It's not my decision here. It's the queen's decision. And her decisions are final. My, my daughter, it is not final. Please, there is something you can do for us. It's already too late. There's nothing I can do. It is not too late. It is not too late. See, our daughter has been spoken to. And she has been scolded. She will never do it again. Please, please, please. You see, as it is now, there's nothing I can do. Mm. There's nothing. It's not my decision. It's the Queen's decision. It's too late already. There's nothing I can do. No, it can't be too late. There is something you can do. There must be something you can do. Something like what? Ah. Like what? Like, 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 like talking talk, talk, talk to the Queen on her behalf. Yes. Because I, I'm sure she will listen to you. Because, please, my sister. As it is, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to say. Come on, Linda. You just kill us. We got them. Please, 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 Anything, nothing, nothing at all. And you also knew that we are sojourners in this land. God in His infinite mercy, God in His infinite mercy helped us by letting you get this job in the palace. A whole palace, a whole palace in this strange land. You got there, messed up everything, ruined our own only chance of survival. And you are here asking me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I did. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean why to. Yoko? Why you call? Why you call? I cannot hear. Can I Let's be going. Let's be going. Leave this girl. Let's go. Leave her. Leave her. Let's be going.
You can be knocking on the princess's door at this time. Are you looking for something? Tell me, let me handle it, okay? tried as much as I could to sleep, but the urge to be with you was just so much. I couldn't resist it. I don't get you. The urge to be with me? As who? As your husband or your boyfriend? I don't get it. The urge to be with me? I don't... Uh, wait. How many times did I tell you that having a thing with you do not mean that I'm your husband or your boyfriend? Eh? We had a thing. You are a palace maid. You are palace made in this palace, right? So you should keep it at that. Did you hear what I said? Stupid girl. So, this is how you would have landed me into trouble had I not opened that door for my mother. Eh? You dirty palace maid. Get out of this place, now. What is that? What is that? Eh? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Get out. Get out. Hold on, I want to know. What gave you the guts? Hmm? Tell me, what gave you the guts? I'm sorry, my promise... Come on, get, 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 get out of this place now. Get out! I promise it won't happen again. I said get out. Get out. Hey. Get out, get out of this place. Hey, hey, hold it. Yeah. Okay. 
What would I have told my mother? Huh? I was so close, so close, so close. Was I hiding? Huh? Did I tell you I was hiding? Besides, who will I be hiding from? <laughs> Azuka. You're a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, and why will I be ashamed of myself? Am I the prince that, that nobody called you, Azuka? Nobody called you. I was awake all along. I saw you sneak out of this room. I was even the one that woke others up. Have some dignity, Azuka. <laughs> I see. So another deputy Jesus have emerged. Huh? Did you ask questions? Did you ask the former deputy Jesus how far? Ijura Ajuju? Ijuro. Then you need to go and ask questions. Because if you do not leave me alone in this palace, that thing you are looking for, you will get times to. Allow me. You are just looking for my trouble. Please let me be. Let me be. Allow me to live my God-given life in peace. This is the life I have chosen for myself. Let me live it. It is my life and nobody else's life. Please. Azuka. 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 Hello. So now you want to sleep? She, you want to sleep? What did you learn now? What are you now, Morana? Ora be alana. Why won't she sleep? Shift. Hmm. You're Asuka. a disgrace. Asuka, please allow us to sleep this night. Please, allow us to sleep. See, eh? Please allow us. You, your cursed family. You are ruining your family. You are ruining your family. You are ruining your family. You are You will not allow us. You will not sleep. You will not sleep. You will not sleep. You want for me? Why are you pestering me? Why are you making it look like I'm the one that sacked your daughter from the palace? It's not my decision. It's the queen's decision. And there's nothing I can do about it. My daughter, we have been here for a while. Please, listen to us. We came earlier on and we were told you went out. But we decided to wait. Because this is very important. We came for a totally different reason entirely. Please. What reason? <sighs> Can you please take us to the Queen? Yes. We believe that if we see the Queen one on one and she sees our predicament and how tattered and suffering we look, she might have a change of heart and accept our daughter back again, please. Please, please, auntie, please, please, don't say no. As it is now, we don't even have another choice. If we had other choices, we wouldn't have been here. Please, help us. What if she does not accept your plea? Yeah. Yeah. At least, we would have tried. We would have satisfied our conscience. And if she does not allow our daughter to come back, we will hand everything over to God. Please. Please, Auntie. Thank you. 
I want to see the thing. Sorry, do you intend seeing the queen with them? I don't understand. Are they not humans? No, not in that contest. Actually, the queen will not be happy seeing them dressed this way. Kitty, what is wrong with you? He's right. We shouldn't be in the palace dressed like this. If he can go and inform the queen, that we want to see her on a matter of life and death. That will be fine. Did you, did you hear that? Sir, please don't be offended. I'm just um, walking through instructions. I'll do exactly what you said. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Mother, please allow me. Eh? <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> hmm? Allow me. I know how to handle it. You don't need to worry yourself. You think so? <laughs> yes. I know what to do. Okay. Yes. You will see it. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Greetings, my prince. Yeah. Any problem? Uh, Your Majesty, Asharugo brought in a couple. They said they are here to see you on a matter of life and death. Acharugo? Yes, Your Majesty. A matter of life and death? Yes. Let them in. Oh, Your, Your Majesty, I would, I would suggest you you go out and meet them instead. I, I can't bring them in the, the way they are, they are dressed inside the palace. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. Greetings. May your day be like tomorrow, because tomorrow has no end. Greetings, highly favored Queen of Umudin land. And greetings to your friend, Prince. Greetings. Acharugo, who are these people? Your Majesty, since the day you sent their daughter, made Adoma out of the palace, they have vowed never to allow me to have peace. I have tried everything I could to make them understand that I have no hand in their daughter's sack, but they just wouldn't understand. And they've been begging that I should bring them to you so that they can come and speak with you. And so that's why I brought them. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You are the God we see on earth. We are humble subjects. And today we fall at your feet to beg for mercy. We do not presume to be worthy to be in your presence. But we were banished from our kingdom and we ran up to your kingdom for succor and for survival. Please do not refuse us. If you refuse us, we shall surely die. Do not let us die in this state, my queen. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Our daughter's acceptance into this palace as a maid was our last hope. Our last hope, Your Majesty. And now, due to carelessness, that hope is gone. Please, please, Your Majesty, please, don't leave us. If you leave us, hunger will kill us. And the beds of the air will feed on our carcasses. Please, Your Majesty, if not for anything, for her sex, look at us. Look at us, Your Majesty. Forgive our daughter's mistake. We are begging you, please. Hmm. So, these are the parents to that arrogant girl? My prince, 
We are the worthless parents to that girl. Please, forgive our transgressions. Forgive our daughter, please. Please. Right, so... <laughs> What are you people asking me to do? To accept back someone I sacked? My queen. Please. Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. 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 Just, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, if that is the reason you have come to see me, I'm sorry. I cannot help you. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah, mother, please. I join to their plea. Can you give her a second chance, if possible? Please. Please. Okay? Let's just allow her. I beg you. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. So, are we ready now? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Ah, my sister. What would we have done without you? Eh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. My daughter, for this thing you have done for us, God will continue to bless you for Amen. us. Amen. Adama, listen to me. If you like, when you get back to the palace, misbehave again. <laughs> Continue misbehaving. <laughs> Do you need to tell her? Do you need to tell her? You don't have to. She already knows. She already knows what will happen to her if she eventually comes back to the house again. I guess she has learned her lesson and she has a new corrections. <laughs> Besides, I'm so happy they pay you to come back because it's a real privilege. It has never happened before. And you will be thankful to have for it, my sister. It's true. Mm -hmm. For it, I will grateful to you. Yeah. God bless you. Yes. God bless you more and more. You continue to be fine and be shining like this. Amen. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> bye bye, oh. Bye bye. Bye bye, you. Thank you. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Ada, Ma. You know what happened to repeat itself again, no? You know how much you need this job. You know how much your parents, your poor parents need this job. You know what happened to happen again. We are adults now. What is good sometimes may not be right. But sometimes, what is good, you have to do it. Do you understand me? Let the angels fight the miss. Yes, Ma. Are you hearing me? Yes, Ma. A good girl. Hmm? Thank you. Now that you're back, don't misbehave. Oh. I promise I will not disappoint you or my parents. I'll be a good girl. Thank you, Thank you so much, Ma. Please go. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Mama, do you know that that maiden that was sent out of the palace, that maiden that was sent out of the palace, mm -hmm. the queen accepted her back? How did you know that? Huh? You ask as if I'm a novice in this land. I have my source around the palace. <laughs> That's very much unlike the queen. Do you know that Achalugo went with the guest parents to plead on her behalf and the queen accepted her back? Imagine. I am telling you. Ah. So, Achalugo actually can be that nice. Don't mm. mind that evil woman, Mama. Don't mind that good for nothing woman. Mama, I will mm. so deal with that woman. I will so deal with that Achalugo. Mm. Ah. Okay. That's your boyfriend, or is he your sister? Mm, Mama. Whose boyfriend is he? Not my boyfriend, people. <coughs> Hunger is 
a bastard. Let me see who we form her to get again on top of hunger and poverty. Tony K. Tony K. I go. Look at you. Just a night. If I go far, you have laid down. Doma, the prince demands for your presence in his chambers now. Eh? Oh, Prince Abanyabaka. Did your poverty stricken parents tell you the role I played in bringing you back to this palace? Huh? Did they also tell you how I persuaded the queen to go against her witch in bringing you back to this golden? Yes, my grace. Thank you, sir. Well, I see. I've been wondering, been wondering after seeing your parents, after seeing how they look, after seeing their true identity, I've been wondering what gives you the nerves. What gives you the audacity? What gives you the mind to be proud? And for you to as well reject my advances. Eh? Coming from that poor home, you still maintain that useless word of I, I want to, uh, to maintain my dignity as a woman. What dignity are you talking about? Which dignity are you talking about? I'm sorry, my prince. Yes, sir. Yeah. You should be. You should be happy that you're having a thing with the crown prince of Umudim Kingdom. Yes, you should be jumping up and down by now. That I desire you. That I want to have something to do with you. To do with a little life like you. Huh? Yeah? I want to have something to do with you now. Yes, I want to feel you now. So, get ready. Let's do it. My prince, please. I beg you. I, 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 just ask me, ask me for anything. Anything else to show appreciation. I'll do it. I'm sorry. I can't. And what do you think you can do for me? Tell me. What do you think you can do for me? Anything at all. Anything. You cannot do anything for me. You do not have money. What do you think you can give to me? Tell me. Eh? My princess, it's just. Hey, I want to have you. Eh? Let me just. Have my, my princess, you. I, I made a vow. I made a vow to my chi that any man that will touch me will only be my husband. Because please, please, why? Are you a virgin? Ah. Ah. Ah.
Okay. Hey, Chalugo. I've come to find out what my daughter here and I did to you that you hate us this much. I don't understand. What do you mean? What don't you understand? Answer the question, Biko! Yeah? Are you mad? Yeah. Is something wrong with you? Are you not afraid? Afraid of you? At your Why are you sure I'm afraid of you? Is it because you practically leave the queen's axe at all times? That's why I should be afraid of you? No, 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 no! I don't have to be able to be able to be Now listen, madam. If you don't take your daughter out of my compound, the two of you will spend the rest of your life in the cell. You see, we will leave. But before we leave, I want you to know that I heard everything. I know everything that is going on. How a stranger, somebody that is not even from this kingdom, came and was employed. And when the queen sacked her because of misconduct, you solicited for her. Eh? That was an opportunity for you to bring my daughter in. Yeah. After all the gifts you collected from us. Why are you like this? Uh, ugly things like this detest the queen. Huh? This thing standing before me. <laughs> See how ugly she looks. You want this thing? To be in the palace or work in the palace. Eh? Yeah. I'm ugly or quiet. I'm the more ugly Nabi. When you are busy collecting our files, you don't know that I'm an ugly girl. Now you are finished collecting our files. I'm ugly. You see those files? You are going to bring them out now. Go inside there and bring our file. Let's go bring our file. You must bring Did it I beg you for foul? You must bring it out to hey! and I'm the You must bring it out. So wait for me. Let me call the DPO. Like the two yeah. of you don't know me. Mama, happy. Happy. Okay, wait. Hello? Okay, wait. Hello? Yes, DPO. It's me, Yacharugo. Please, I need you to send two of your men to my compound. I have two touts. Two village touts constituting nuisance in my neighborhood. Please send your men to come and get them arrested. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hey, in a poor police, I be. Okay. You are calling DP up, yeah? Let DP you come. Let the police say you may go. Police, you better remember police. But if you that chicken, eh? That chicken, I ain't here again. You get with ya. You must bring them out. In a poor police. So police, you better not want to get with ya. But if you that gift, you get with ya. Eh? You get with ya. Okay, Mujo. 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 Okay,
Palace servants come to call you or not? He came, my prince. Okay. I don't get it. He came. Yes, my prince. And he did not come to answer. Huh? Yeah. Oh, some people can be stupid and useless at the same time. Like, how? How? So, why didn't you come to answer me? My prince, I. I, I am sorry. I, 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 I but. It's just that what? Huh? But I, I. Hey! Listen up. You've crossed your boundaries in this palace. And trust me, this time you will beg to leave, but it will be too late. The tale of a sleeping tiger cannot be turned to a toy. In the hands of a child. Yeah. Adoma, you are very lucky. Extremely lucky. If I were to be the prince, Makachuku Makagod, what I would have done to you, eh? You will not believe it, even in your next life. What is giving you? The moral and courage is what beats my imagination. Omoyoka! I saw your parents the other day and I saw how tattered and hungry they were looking. You don't have enough form of hard to get. Girl, common sense is not common. Azuka! Enough! Enough of this world! Enough of what? What? Are you happy the way this thing here is treating the prince of this kingdom? Azuka, it is her body, yes. her life, and her emotions we are talking about here. And what useless life are you talking about, Oluji? What life? Huh? If she has a life like you claim, then what is she doing in this palace? She should be out there enjoying herself rather than being here. Acting like a slave. No, rather than be a slave in this palace. What's going on? Rubbish. It's okay. It's okay. Sit down, let me continue with your hair. Stop crying. Sit down. You look at it like this. Oh, my God. Azuka. Hi. Like how we Very nice. Odaba, where is the meat to add this? Young lady to go and bring. That is the only problem. You don't always have enough meat. Eh? Said to Naira, meat is finished. Ah. The, beer, the beer is not serious. I don't know. But only her pawan is very good. Pawan is very good. Mm. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that. Greetings, this one. Beer, beer. Is this not the son of uh, Leta Adako? The one she had out of wedlock. Did you? Uh. He is. Really? Mm. He's a full grown man now. Nah. Now, nah, how are you? Uh, yes, indeed, I, I am fine. I actually saw both of you here. I, I decided to come in to discuss something very important to me. Something okay, very important to you. Yes, Indichie. Please sit down. <laughs> I, I don't need to sit down, Dichie. I can't be sitting with, with my elders. But I prefer standing. 
Uh, what, what is the problem? Uh, DJ, both of you are aware that my late mother served the late king as a chief cook in the palace. Exactly, we know. Yes, we know. We are aware of that. You see, um, my mother was hiding the identity of my father to me. And uh, I've tried everything possible uh, for her to tell me who my father was. Uh, but she refused. Uh, but before she, she died, she revealed to me that, that the late king was my biological father. What? Lie! And what You know what? You are saying that your mother told you this? Yes, she did. And, and I can swear with any deity of your choice. Uh, yeah. You are telling her that your mother told you this? Yes, she did. So you are actually telling us that your mother told you all this? My elders, I, I won't be lying to you. I can even swear with any deity of your choice. Yes. She <laughs> told me. What a revelation. Hi. Uh, uh, well, my elders, my question now is what could be done for me to go back to palace where I belong? Hi. That is my question. What will I do? Yeah, my son, your question is very heavy. Very, very. But, uh, I will assure you that uh, very soon you will get a reply from us. Thank you so much. You have done your bit. Take it from me. You have done your bit by telling us. So it is up to us now. We are going to take this matter up. I assure you. Thank you so much, my elders. I shall be waiting to hear him from you. No problem. Very soon. No problem. Very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you sir. That boy looks like somebody who wasn't joking. He wasn't joking at all. He was serious. But the question is, how do we help him? I, I, I suggest that we go to Olohu first. Then, after that, we know what next to do. Alright. A step at a time. Exactly. Let's mm -hmm. go and see Olohu. A step at a time. Huh? My queen, Hello. the ceremonial adoption of the year of the prince is coming up December. And the initiation too into a Jibiri fraternity comes up by December, barely two months. So I'm worried. Hello. What are you worried about? I'm worried about the prince. Yes, because I have not come into this palace and seen the prince with any girl. I'm not even aware of any serious relationship with the prince, with any girl in this kingdom. So I'm worried. <laughs> oh no, he is very much aware and he's looking forward to it. Let me ask again, oh, my queen. Is he also aware that after the initiation, that he will ascend the throne as a king after his father. And it, that can never happen if he's still single. Well, he has a date. His father made the arrangements before he died. The prince will marry the princess of Umokike kingdom. So there's absolutely nothing to worry about. That is wonderful. I mean, great. I, I don't need to worry about anything. Sure. <laughs> uh, anyway, can I see him before? Sure. Okay. 
Where is the prince? Your Majesty, I knocked severally at his door, but there was no response. I even shouted from outside his door, telling him that the prince sent for him, but there was still no response, my, my queen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. Your Majesty. Excuse me. Okay. I sent someone to call him. Well, no one came here. How? She said that she knocked for some minutes and didn't get any response. Well, I'm telling you, no one came. I, know, I, I didn't hear any knock. Why would she be lying against you? Oh, you mean the, the maid, Adoma? If it's that one, mother, you should forget about her because she's possessed. Are you kidding me? No, mother. I'm serious. Well, the Uno is waiting for you outside. Okay, okay. I will join you soon. I will join you now. Honestly, I've been trying to ignore the prince's excesses, but it's really getting out of hand. Is he about sleeping with the medis at will? Not just that. He's been trying to lure Adoma into his useless kind of life. He's been trying to sleep with her, but the girl refused. And now he's just frustrating her for nothing. God, I, 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 I pity her. Poor girl. It's very, 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 very bad. Can you imagine he told me to change the duty rooster and put her in for everyday work? When it's not even her turn. No, no. This is wickedness. Pure wickedness. I will just why? The, the, the innocent girl for nothing. I think you should report him to the queen. I think you should do that. I think that that is not the best plan for now. So, what do you think is the best thing to do? I just, I just want to keep observing. Then let me see the way things are going. Then I will, I will know what to do. I'll do what's on my mind. Man, but this is, this is wickedness. Look at it. That, 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 that's stupid and useless. I'm going to be very wicked. This is useless at the same time. This is insane. Very, very insane. How do you drugs? Can you imagine? What's stopping you from changing the roster as I asked you to do? Uh, my prince, I, I, I noticed that will amount to ineffectiveness of, of services in the palace. Uh, that is not how only I will finish all the all the chores in, in this in this palace. That is the aim, punishment. Yes, I know she will not be able to finish all the chores in the palace. By then, I will see the room to punish her. Prince. Uh, Please, uh, with all due respect, there are other maidens in this palace. If she can't be the only one doing all the chores, there will be lapses. 
It's better we leave it the way it is, if you ask me. No, please. no. That's what the prince of the land wants. So you do it. Well, my, my prince, um, the, the, the queen will not be happy when she finds out that there, there are lapses in, 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 in the palace. I will advise we will leave it like that. You will never be happy if I do that, please. Allow me to handle that part, okay? I know what to do. You can go. advise you yes I will advise you leave this job leave this palace and go back to your parents why the prince doesn't like you he hates you with passion he has plans to frustrate you till you die. I will advise you leave this palace in one piece, in pieces. My life is already frustrated. If I go out there, I'll meet more frustration. My parents will frustrate the living day out of my life if I leave this job. They solely depend on what I make here for a living. Whatever the prince has in mind, he should bring it on. Look, you don't understand the kind of plans the prince has for you. I need this job. I need the money. And what about your sanity? I won't sell my body for anything. I will not. Look, you have to choose between your sanity and your salary. Both. I choose both. I can have both. But Whatever wants to happen, should happen. Because I believe that when there's life, there's hope. I can't leave this job. Well, I'm, I'm just telling you what you really need to do. Okay? Your sanity is always better than your salary. My advice. It's two weeks now I met Ichiendo and Ichianya concerning my paternity issue and they promised to get back to me. But I've not heard from them. What is really going on? If the mountain cannot go to Mohammed, I think Mohammed have to go to mountain this time. Makanonyen Sena Panebozo. Yes. I will go and look for them. That is what I will do. Something must be going on. This is not just mere coincidence. They are not going to that bar must have something to do with me. What do I do now? Who will lead me to any of their houses? Or better still to know whose house? I need to see you know myself. Let me know exactly what is going on. Yes, that is what I'm going to do. Yeah, who is that? Who is that? Yeah, come in. Good 
good morning, my prince. Hey, 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 shut up. Do not say good morning to me again in your entire life. Did you hear what I said? Okay, my prince. Rubbish. Rubbish. Nonsense! My prince, I'm here to tidy your room. Um, who cares? Eh? You are here to tidy my room. Who cares? Go ahead and do it and take this your nonsense body out of this room. Now! Okay. Stupid girl.
Hey. Thank God. I, I, I was just coming from the kitchen. You didn't serve my food. Why now? Hey, I'm very hungry. I'm I need my food. I'm sorry, but there is no food for you. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I, I'm not in the mood for joke. I'm very tired and I'm very hungry. I need my food now. The priest instructed that there will be no food for you till 7 p.m. The prince did what? Gave the order. Why? I, 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 I have not done anything wrong. I don't know. No. Huh? You, you don't... You don't... What is all this now? What is all this? Firstly, he instructed the chief of palace guard to, to entrust me with all the house chores while the rest of the maids play away their time. As if that wasn't enough now, this, eh? Since I woke up this morning, I've been working all. Oh, it's almost 3 p.m. I've not had anything. I'm very hungry. <laughs> anyway, they saw it coming and I decided to stay. No problem. Tell your priest to keep his food. I don't even need it. I won't eat and I will not die. Don't need it. Girls, this doesn't make sense at all. Why would the priest ask us to stay idle? Why are Doma does all the palace chores? It doesn't make sense. We are only obeying the last order. That's all. I just wish there's something I can do about it. I just wish so. Well, all I can wish her is the strength to go through this path she has chosen. Oh, it's past 7 p.m. I've never had anything. The priest made sure I did all the house chores by myself. What? Wait, wait. You mean you've not eaten anything at all since today? Nothing. God of mercy. This is not good. No, 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 no. This is inhuman. This is just the height of it. This is the height of it. Who is that? Who the hell is that? My prince, I am the one, the chef. My prince, there is a problem. A problem? Did you say there is a problem? What problem is that? Prince, Adama refused to eat tonight. Is that the problem? Huh? I don't understand. If she refuses to eat tonight, she should die of hunger. What do you mean uh, there is a problem? The other ladies returned their food. They said they will no longer eat in the palace till Adama eats. And Adama said that she will no longer eat again. So the queen asked her why. What? If the queen hears that I starve her today, she won't be happy with me, and I don't want to lose my job. Oh, it's okay. Go. Go. I don't want to do. Okay. Yes, please. Now. I tried all I could to avert the prince's punishment. But at the end of the day, he's the prince. I'm sorry for what you went through today. I'm sorry for everything. My, my hands were tied. I, I, I couldn't do anything. No. But don't be sorry, Jide. I, I am not mad at you. You are only doing your job. I have decided to quit this job. Why? Huh? Because I can't stand the kind of treatment given to you. <laughs> it's not proper. Jide, listen to me carefully. Whatever I'm going through right now is... It, 
It's my choice. It's my decision to remain here. You can't lose such a good job because of me. Why? Look, Ada, I'm, I'm battling with my conscience. Look, we'll just tell your conscience that you did not do me any wrong. I can't even be angry with you. Look at me. How? Please. Honestly, I wish you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I wish you have everything it takes. Look, I'm not only leaving the job because of the ill treatment you're getting. I'm leaving this job so I can free you from this bondage. How do you mean? Sometimes I wish you were born with a silver spoon. I know you're taking all these excesses because you're from a poor home. But no, you don't you don't deserve to be here. You deserve better. You're brought up from a responsible home. You are responsible. Okay, in this palace now, all the maidens have slept with the prince. But you stood your ground against all odds. Which means you're responsible. You don't need to be here. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Ada, you deserve all the love in this world. You deserve everything nice and good. I want to travel to the city to seek for greener pastures. I pray that God will bless me. And when he blesses me, I will come here and take you out of here. You don't deserve to be here. You deserve a man who will be there for you. A man that will worship you for who you are. Allow me to be that man. I want to take you out of this suffering. Allow me to be that man that will clean your tears. Thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you. Okay. I'm going to miss you. It's going to be over soon, okay? So why do you want to quit your job? My queen is a decision I I, I took for a very long time now. Why would you take such a decision? Such a harsh and um, hasty decision? It's, it's just what I want, my queen. Listen, son. To me, you are no longer a servant here. You have been a very loyal one at that even from the time my husband was alive. You're more or less like my son. If there is anything that is not pleasing to you, if you think there's a problem, talk to me and we will discuss it as mother and son. What is the problem? My queen, there, there is nothing to talk about. I just want to resign. Is it the prince? Okay, please, I, I want to leave. Okay. Since you have decided to leave, do whatever that pleases you. Sorry, my queen, please. I need to take my leave. Something is definitely wrong. My mother. I do not know why she chose to leave. Well, you can leave now. I can. 
Did you have problem with him? Or any other palace servant? Mother. How will I have a problem with them? Eh? If any of them chooses to mess up, I will put them in their place. Eh? I am the prince of the land. I, uh, I will have a problem with uh, a mere palace servant. No, that is not possible. You know, deep down inside of me, I know that Jide's resignation has everything to do with you. Mother, you are now making me to feel bad. Eh? Jide is a grown-up. He can make decisions for himself. Eh? Why is that bothering you? If he chooses to leave, then fine. He should go. What we should be thinking about is how to get a replacement, someone that is fit to replace him. Not so pointing fingers. Uh, Ada, the queen is not the one that wants to see you. I actually want us to talk. Hey. So the queen has finally given the permission for me to leave. She even gave me two months salary. So I want to take one and give you one. No. <laughs> Why would you do a thing like that? I don't need money for anything here. Okay, then tell me your address. I can go give it to your parents on your behalf. Look, no, no. You need the money. You are the man. Just leave me out of it. Look, look, this is from my mind, okay? It's not like I'm giving you my salary. It's just a bonus. I want to give it to you. You're going to need it as well. So, why are you giving it to me? Why? Because I know the only reason why you're still working here. Irrespective of the treatments, the, the negative um, things the prince has been doing to you, the insults, everything is because of money. I know if you have your way, you will leave this palace. So you're taking all these SSs because you don't have money, okay? So please, this is from my heart. If I have money, I will give everything to you, I don't mind. Jide, why are you this kind to me? Hmm? Because your type is rare, Ada. You are the prayer point of most men. Your attitude is different. Okay, look. At, at this age, you are still a virgin. You have a good character, you're kind. How did you know that? Because I overheard when the, when the prince said that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you both. And look, just tell me your address. Let me go give it to your parents. You don't have to say no, it's from my mind. Please. I'm going, okay? I promise it won't be long. I will make it and come take you away from here. You don't deserve to be here. I'm going to miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Just hang on. Hey! Huh? What's going on here? Oh, really? Huh? So, you are having an affair with her under my nose? Is that what you are doing? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah.
So it's because of him, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, why here? Because. Please do this. Just hand up, okay? Very fast. Let's take care of you. Thank you. Thank you. She lied to me that she was a virgin. She didn't give in to my advances. Meanwhile, she has been doing it with a palace servant. My own palace servant. Oh. I have never been humiliated all my life. The palace maid chose a palace servant over me. No, this is not happening. He is living. Yes, he will leave this palace because I told him to change the work roster in order to give her all the workload. He didn't do that. He didn't want to do that because they are dating. In my own palace, it's not possible. The girl couldn't have, have another. A, play, a palace servant is having her under my nose. No, this is crazy. I will not take it. I will so deal with her. Yes, sir. The same palace where my daughter works? Yes, sir. Good day, ma'am. Did you say the palace? Yes, ma'am. What about my daughter? I, I hope all is well with her. Oh, yes, of course. All is well with her, ma'am. I came with good news. Ah, thank God. Don't be quick to thank God, my wife. Let us hear the good news you came with. Oh, okay, okay. Young man, what good news have you brought for us? Uh, your, your daughter gave me this money to bring for you people. What is that? Money to bring for you people. My son, there must be a mistake. My daughter couldn't have sent that money. It's barely two weeks since she sent us her salary. And she sent us everything. She can't send this amount of money again. There must be a mistake. No, sir. There is no mistake. Um, actually, the, the queen is a is a bonus payment from the queen. She told me to bring it for you people. Wait, wait, young man. You mean this money is from the queen? Yes, yes, ma. Hmm. It's okay. It's okay. But please, I hope my daughter has been of good behavior. I hope this money is not stolen money in any way. Oh, no, not, not at all, sir. Of course, you should know the daughter you gave birth to. She can never do such a thing. You should thank God for the blessing God gave to you. Your daughter can never take what is not hers. So you don't have to worry. She's a good behavior. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Now, God bless you, oh. Thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. Please, when you go, greet my daughter for me. Oh? Of course, I will. All right, bye. All right. Take my leave now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Greet her, oh. Greet our daughter for us. Okay, sir. Tell her we miss her. that the prince was trying to force himself on the girl. That same girl. My mother is not a fool. I could have read her countenance. Yes, she's already suspecting me and I must act fast. I must act fast now to clear her mind of all doubts. Yes, that girl has vowed never to let me have her. The more I try, the more she resists me. The more she tries to implicate me. I must act very fast before it's too late. Omo, life hard for this city. Life hard. See this one. You are the one saying this. <laughs> I'm still wondering why you will leave a well-paid job in the palace and come to the city to suffer. You eat in the same kitchen with the king and get paid at the end of the month, practically doing nothing by standing and, and sitting in the palace. Does it mean that without palace, I'm not a filmmaker? It's my destiny in, in, inside that palace. Some people, they still come for this, like uh, Ikenwu's son. How many months this thing is it? And he bought cars, bought, bought land, bought land, land. Oh, oh boy, forget that thing. Is it that I cannot make it here? See, the only people Every that time you are telling me I'm missing something in the village, I miss something in the village. That's what you are thinking, but listen, the only people that make big money and live in big houses in the city are Yahoo boys and politicians. If you are not one of them, oh boy, forget her. So you mean someone cannot do genuine business again and still make money? Ah, That's what businessmen that that is doing genuine business yes. and I mean, Yes, I know. But the only legitimate means of business right now is the evil apprenticeship. And that one is not really easy. It's not a quick, quick, quickie, quickie something that you just go and make money. You have to serve your master for about six to seven years. And after that seven years, he will now have to settle you before you now have to go into your own business. So you see, it's not easy. Well, me, I believe that sometimes connection or uh, at all at all now you you serve the person for one year or two years uh, you understand the business and then generate more anyway i understand it's not even easy okay people. you are talking about yourself who who, who you think will, will take you as an apprentice you're already already, already an old man i'm telling you nobody will take you it's not even about that one it's to find connection sometimes it's connection you enter a city you don't know and before you know it you just get the right or to tell you okay this is it though you know, a uh, That's what we are asking. I'm God seeing the, the connection now. You are sitting on top of the connection. I'm telling you, you need to that back. Sharp, sharp, 
night, night, no need to hide. I, I've seen you. I, I hide this in Afro Gongi now. Night, no need to hide. Mm. I've seen you. But I'm not hiding. I, 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 I thought you wanted to hide. No, no, no. Why should I hide? Night, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my son. Get okay, man. Nah, you shouldn't be asking me Kedi Kame because you know I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all now. So what is the problem? How, nah, how can I discuss something of that nature with you people? You promised to get back to me only for you people to start avoiding me. It's not fair now. No, nobody's avoiding you. The truth of the matter is that that your mother has a leg. How do you mean my mother has a leg? It has a leg. It's something that I need to explain to you very well. It has a leg. Okay, fine, fine. Can we look for a place where we can sit and talk about it? Okay, okay, no problem. Let's go, sir. You see, my son, I'm not supposed to be telling you this. But since it happened this way, I must reveal everything to you. Okay. Okay, sir. You see, we went to the unknown as we promised you. Yes, sir. But the unknown pulled our ears that we should not dare mention this to anybody. Because of the implications involved. How now? What implication? Uh, I don't understand. Let me break it down for you. The royal family, the queen, and the, in the entire royal family, they will not like to hear this. Because they will believe that anybody who is bringing up this story is trying to usurp their authority and at the same time is trying to deprive the prince from ascending the throne of his father. But it, it is true now. Eh? It is true. You see, it's very, very difficult to enter into this matter like this. The whole thing is straight in your eyes, but it doesn't go that way. That's why I told you that the whole matter has K leg. Because had even the king is alive, it would have been easier. He would have either admit, and if he admits that your story is true, then he will order for DNA test. But now that the king is not alive, it's difficult. So I rather advise you to allow the matter to be buried. So I should allow the matter to be buried. That is my suggestion as an elder. And also, I'm giving you this advice, useful advice for that matter, that you should not allow this story to reach the queen or the son for your own life and for your own safety. That's my advice to you. I know you can see me. 
I know you can hear me. I was not the one who brought myself into this world. If truly that what my mother told me was true, let the palace, let the entire community come looking for me in their own accord. I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me. The prince sends for you. Tell him I'm busy. You didn't say that. Did you? Uh, I already know why he's calling. So just tell him I'm not coming. Anyway, you say you should meet him at the queen's chamber. Queen's chamber? You heard me right. Uh, Okay, I'm coming. All right. Prince My prince, I'm here. My prince, what's going on? No one is answering. So all of a sudden you do not know your way to his room? Actually, he asked me to meet him in your chamber, my queen. The prince said you should wait for him in my chamber? Yes, my queen. You're out of your mind. Get out of my presence! This is my room, and I'm an adult. He didn't knock before coming in. Why would you ask a maid to wait for you in my chamber? Excuse me? Excuse you what? Oh, please, don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. But I do not know what you're talking about, mother. You didn't tell any girl to wait for you in my room? Any girl? Which girl are you talking about? I mean... Uh, Meda Doma. Meda Doma. She said I asked her to come and meet me in your chamber. You did not tell her to wait for you there. And why would I tell her to wait for me in your chamber when I have a room here? <laughs> I did not.
What did you tell me about me to do? Your Majesty, did the prince ask me to see him in your chamber? Are you sure of what you just said? Very sure, my queen. Can you repeat this in the presence of the prince? A thousand times over, my queen. Call him for me. Yes, my queen. Tell him that I said he should meet me here and now. Did you tell him that I said it is here and now? Yes, my queen. What are you saying for me? Adoma, repeat what you told me. Yes, my queen. I was here mopping the floor when the head of the palace servants came, Jude, and told me that the prince wanted to see me in your chamber, my queen. I don't get it. I wanted to see you in the queen's chamber for what? You said you said that to you? Yes. One minute. Jude! Yes. Jude! My priest. Yes. Can you repeat what you just said? Yes, my prince. I was here mopping. Jude came and told me that the prince, you, wanted to see me in the queen's chamber. Which Jude? Is it me? Yes, you. You You came here. Have you, for, you came here a while ago and said that the prince wanted to see me in the queen's chamber. Me? No, you must be dreaming. Jehovah, are you trying to deny it? My prince, I don't know what she's talking about. Since morning, I have never left my duty post. What are you saying? My queen, he said it. He came here and said it. Who said what? That, 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 that. Let me see. Where did you get that thing? The royal ornament? Yes. Your Majesty. I... I was in our room when Adoma here ran into the room and hid something in her bag before running out. I was so curious of her action that I had to search her bag immediately she left. And I found those. Ha! Ha! You stole the royal ornament? No! 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 Ha! No, I didn't steal anything. What is going on? My, my queen, I don't understand what is happening. I, I was here mopping. And then he came and told me that the prince wanted to see me in your room. I, I didn't steal anything. Yes, what happened? Tell me, what happened? Eh? This Azuka. is so unbelievable. I didn't steal, no. I didn't steal my queen. I am no... Ah! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You had the guts. You stole the royal ornament and you are still talking nonsense with this for 50 years. What did you say? What did you say? Hey! Nice, shut up, shut up. Enough, shut up. enough, enough! Everybody should leave. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to stay back. I ask you again, and for the last time. How did the royal ornament get to your bag? And what were you doing in my room? Your Majesty, I can swear before any deity. I have never seen this royal ornament in my life. Except for now that Asuka brought it. 
And everything I told you about the prince and servant Jude is the truth. Hmm. You see, sometimes when I listen to you talk, I want to believe that you are honest and innocent. But as the days roll by, the truth clears on my face. My son was right after all. You're possessed by evil spirits. And that is why you do some things you do that you would say you wouldn't know when you did them. Well, I now understand why your family was banished from your kingdom. The penalty for what you did is death by hanging. But I'll spare your life just because you are not from this kingdom. Go to your room, pack your things, and leave. Tell your parents I wouldn't want to see them anywhere close to this village. If I do, they will not like what I'll do to them. Leave. Thank you, my queen. Sacked her after she stole from the queen's jewelers. Oh no, my Adoma can never do such a thing. I know her too well. It's true, me too. I used to see her as this uh, decent girl. Never knew she's a thief. Oh, shut up. What, 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 what do you call her that? Adoma can never, ever do such a thing. She can never take what is not hers. Oh. I'm sure this is the handwork of the prince. The prince hated her all because she refused to, 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 to allow herself to turn to a sex toy. But very soon, Nemesis will catch up with them. Rubbish. Ada? Ada?
да? А, да? А, да? Where will I go to look for her? Huh? Adam, why did you do this? Why, why did you leave with no traces? Why? I'm heartbroken. Why? Nobody seems to know her whereabouts. Where do I search for her? You're welcome. Thank you. <sighs> I actually came to know the arrangement of this ceremony day and the official introduction of your son into a great fraternity because the day are close. You're right, you know. Every plan is intact. We are just counting down to the date. Nice one. Mm -hmm. What about uh, his marriage? Oh, his date, you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Well, the princess of Umokike Kingdom will be visiting the palace for the first time that same day. Mm -hmm. And after the ceremony, all the members of the 
Ejiribiri Fraternity will be leading my son to Mokika Kingdom to pay the princess's bride price. Ha! Ah, wonderful. <laughs> what a wonderful arrangement. Mm. Uh, that means I don't have any cause to worry. Not at all. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have to be on my way. Thank you, no. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, Hmm. I've come to know how the preparation into the into the Ajiribiri fraternity of your son is going. How? Perfect. We have already sent out invitations across our borders and everything is in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's indeed lovely. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the, the bright prize? Will it be paid on that same day? The members of the Jiribiri Fraternity will lead my son to your palace for the payment of the bright prize. What a wonderful development. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, how is our object of interest, the bride? She's already in the country. And of course, she will definitely grace the induction ceremony. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I, she told me that. I spoke with her on phone. We spoke extensively on phone last night. Hmm. Love pets. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> oh, You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome once again. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, come in. And why did you gift me away? Hmm? I'm sorry. Why did you keep me waiting? Tell me, tell me, why did you keep me waiting? I am sorry. You know, I was waiting for those maidens to fall asleep. Mm. I don't understand why tonight, of all nights, they chose to curse you. Mother, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mother, please. I know I've messed up, I know. I know I've failed you. I'm not... I know I'm not worthy to be the prince. But please... Forgive me. Let's just trash what you saw, please. It's not entirely my fault, Mother. Really? And whose fault is it? Mine? I employed beautiful girls in this palace to serve us. But you turned them into your, your objects of pleasure. Is it my fault? Well, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. And what? are you talking about? I'm talking about what happened 25 years ago. Her Majesty, he doesn't want to take his bed. Prince Uko, what is the problem? I'll go later bet you. Why? What did you just say? I say I will tell my mother that you need to touch my pee 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 and put it in your mouth. I will tell my mother to stop letting you make hmm? me. If you try and tell your mother this such thing, I will use knife and cut off your pee pee. Do not ever relate with your pee pee again. Do you hear me? Don't cut off my pee pee. Will you tell your mommy again? Good boy. Nothing. Or I'll follow her later, bet you. If you finish betting, come, I'll get your ice cream, okay? I'll go. Go and take your bet, okay? That's my baby. When you finish, you come and join me. I'll get your ice cream, okay?
Don't you think high time to stop these girls from betting the prince? How do you know? He's a prince, and the maids should bet him till he reaches the age of 15 or even 18. And you think it's morally right? I know it is our cultural heritage. But there's nothing wrong in enjoying the dividends of the prince. He is the prince. They should accord him that respect as a prince. <laughs> Come on. Sweetheart, let's talk about that later. I'm watching a wonderful movie here. I see. Mm, join me. Please. Father, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I would have told you, but I was afraid as a little boy. Mother, I am not proud of this lifestyle. I did not choose this lifestyle. The lifestyle chose me. Oh yes, I'm so sorry about it. I grew up seeing every palace made as a sex story. Yes, and they took advantage Canal advantage of me at every given minute. I'm so sorry, Mother. Your initiation into the Jilbiri fraternity comes up in two days. And afterwards, your marriage to the Princess of Omokika Kingdom. Have you thought about it? Have you ever given it a thought? Have you ever asked yourself if one or two maidens you've been frolicking with opens up to your bride-to-be? What do you think will be her reaction? Mana, none of them would try such. They will not. I know them. The only maid that would have done that is out of this palace. You set her up, right? Yes, mother. I did. Because you are almost coming to discovering my little secrets. So I had to do that. I'm sorry about it. So, you made me punish an innocent girl unjustly just because of your selfishness and lust. What is the fate of that girl now? Well, what if that girl opens up to the world? What if she's, she starts saying all manner of things about this royal household? Sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm not proud of this. Find a place in your heart and forgive me, please. Forgive me, mother. The only way I can forgive you is that you must find that girl. That is not possible, Mother. How do you mean? You ask them out of this community, and I'm sure they wouldn't disobey your orders. You're not even sure? I'm very sure, Mother. I looked for her. I searched for her, all to no avail. I searched for her because I realized I was in love with her. Oh, yes. The more she tries to stop me, the more I fell in love with her. I looked for her, but I was told that they left this community already. I'm so sorry, Mother. I'm sorry. Well, if you do not find that girl for me, I will never forgive you.
You lied against an innocent girl, which made me relieve her of her duty. A job that was putting food on her family's table. My queen, I... It, 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 it's, you want to lie? No, 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 my queen. It, 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 it was the priest that ordered that I call her and also deny her when you asked about it. And you had to meet out such injustice upon another human being. I'm sorry, my queen. Please forgive me. There is no way I would disobey the prince's order. <sighs> Please. Now it is clearer to me why Jide had to leave this place. My queen, I don't want to leave this job. I need this job badly. Please forgive me. I will forgive you on one condition. My queen, I am ready to do anything and everything possible to earn your forgiveness and your trust back, please. Good. Go and find that girl and bring her back to me. I searched everywhere. I searched everywhere in the farm settlement. But I was told that their family left the farm settlement long ago. Me too, my queen. I practically went from hot to hot till I searched all the hot in the farm settlement. We couldn't find her. None of you will end my forgiveness until that girl is found. I'm done. Just leave my presence. Get out! I can't afford to miss tomorrow events in our village. It's going to be a great one. You're going to the village tomorrow. First boss tomorrow morning, I'll be in the village. I don't want to miss any part of the event, from beginning to the end. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going now. Why? <laughs> Which one is why? What am I going to the village to do? What eyes will I use to behold the prince after all he did to my other? But you, you never can tell. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to see her again. Ah, it's a lie. See her again. She will never be there. She's not going. Are you sure about that? No miracle will ever take her there. Not after the queen said she doesn't want to see their faces again. She will never be there. Me? Okay. I'm not going. But you can go and have fun. Ha. Go and go and have fun. Me? I'm already in the village. Stay there now. What is this?
is in the manta. The mind of God is not mind of human being. Treat everybody right, treat everybody well. Because you don't know when you will meet an angel. Use your position well. Oh, you know, God. I want to say no for a wise. To not be fair, I don't know what I want to say no for a wise. To not be fair, I don't know what I Love is beautiful. Love is sweet. Yeah. If you are in pain, just pray to God. Make you find genuine love. What's going on here? Huh? What's going on here? What's she doing here? It's my daughter. It's Adoma. Adoma, your daughter? I don't understand. Is this some sort of joke oh, or something? No, it's no joke, my prince. My name is Princess Adoma. The one who entered your palace disguised as a maid. Hey! It's your person. Looking for beautiful every day. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> mm. Yes. Um. Now that you are you are back in the country, I I'll need you to go visit uh, Umudim Kingdom so you can see your husband to be. Yeah, it's good you both behold yourselves for the for the first time and get to understand yourselves. Wait, that. That you're still on this whole arranged marriage thing? What do you mean? I gave my words to my friend before he said that when you're back from your studies overseas, you'll come back to the country and marry his son. I mean, the next king of a modern kingdom. Dad, can you even hear yourself talk? This is the 21st century. How can you sit over drinks, I'm sure, in your friend's palace and decide the fates of two grown adults? Daddy, I don't even know this man. And I would just go ahead and marry him, just like that. Daddy, marriage is supposed to be a union of two adults who are willing to become one. And not between two strangers who know nothing about each other. Mom? My daughter, this is Africa and not the Western world. Here, we can betroth our daughters to a fine suitor. We will get married to her in the fullness of time. My well, mom, such tradition and culture should be abolished. As a matter of fact, it should be expunged. This is the 21st century. I don't know this man. I'm sure if he sees me on the street, he'll possibly walk past me because he's never seen me before. How is he even going to walk? My daughter, so what, what do you mean? Um, I know we acted in error. Taking decisions over such delicate matters. We should have allowed you to, you know, explore yourselves, understand yourselves, and you may decide what you want after then. But now that the deed is done, can something be done to remedy the situation? Something like what? Something like getting close to each other and maybe over time you may get to, you know, love him and make him your future husband. Getting close on what basis? I don't know him. I, I, I don't know how this is going to work, Father. I do not want to end up in a bad marriage. 
This man will possibly hide his character. He won't even show me his true self. I don't see how this is going to work. It's a normal thing, my dear. It's normal. Uh, uh, yes. You, you never can tell. Yes. Give it a try. Hello. Come on. Come on, my dear. Dad. Mom. Please, I do not want to be seen as a disobedient child. I have never been disobedient. I just don't want to make mistake. I want to get it right. I don't want a bad marriage. I want a marriage as beautiful as what you both have. I have decided to go to the palace, but only on one condition. I would go there disguised as a maid. That way I will get close to the prince, get to know his true character, and who knows? I may even fall in love with him and get married. Hmm? Uh, how do you intend to achieve that? Well, I have thought about it. I would go there with two of your palace domestic staff as refugees looking for job in the palace. And what's your guarantee you'll be accepted into the palace? Mom, what's my guarantee that I would not be accepted? Hmm? Well, if you think you can pull it through, so be it. So be it, yes! <laughs> <sighs> okay. What do you think? So that was how I entered into the palace to meet the man I was going to marry. Who never bothered to ask about me or see me? The man I met is a beast. A monster who sleeps with his palace maid at will, against their will. Well, just so you know, the man before you, you're about to crown your next king, is a rapist. Hey! Did he was here this one? Deny it. Talk to Oh, well, I came here for just two reasons, though. To let you know, Your Majesty, that this overrated arranged marriage is not going to work. Secondly, I'm here to take these beautiful ladies that he has turned into his sex slaves. They work for you because they need the money. They are not happy here. So, Chizoba, yes. Aluchi, yes. Chioma, Toma. 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 they are coming with me. Oh, yes. I'm done here. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. Please don't talk to I have kept my side of the bargain of the agreement I had with your late king. I brought my daughter to the prince for future marriage. And all the time, my princess was here, he messed up everything. I mean, the prince messed up everything. And wherever the late king is today, will not have anything against me because I have kept my side of the back. I live here. Let's go. It's not possible. I will not take it. I am the next king of Umudim Kingdom. Yes! I must be the king of Umudim Kingdom. I am the next king of Umudim Kingdom. No one will take away the throne away from me. It's not possible. Oh yes! It's not possible. I will do it. If you do not want to crown me, I will crown myself. It's possible. I will do it. And you will see it. I am the next king. No one will take it away from me. Yes! 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 I will take it. Yes! Yes! I'm the next king. Yes, I'm the next king. Oh yes, I'm the next king. Yes, I am the next king. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! I'm the next king of Formative Kingdom. The next king of Formative Kingdom. No one will take it away from me. I will crown myself. 
Regardless, I will crown myself. Regardless, I will crown myself. They will say it. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. By the power bestowed on me as the prince of Umudim Kingdom, I hereby declare that I am the next king of Umudim Kingdom. I am the next king of Umudim Kingdom. I am the next king of Umudim Kingdom. My prince! My prince! What is happening? My prince! My prince! My prince! Jesus, my priest! Come on, please! I lost everything. I don't know if the queen will survive her son's death. The palace is now a shadow of itself. Azoka. Azoka, after everything, she went back to Square Zero. There is nothing left. There is nothing at all. So finally, they are going to crown him the king, and that will be the hey, end hey, of me. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you are. What is it? Have you come to mock me? Why would you say that? You are my friend now. I can't mock you. I brought you good news. What good news? The prince is dead. The prince is what? The prince is dead. How do you mean dead? The ghosts of the lands are angry with him, so they smote him dead after he tried to crown himself king. All the atrocities he committed in the palace were exposed, so Ono will refuse to crown him king. So he tried to crown himself, the ghosts smote him dead. Puchako, I, I, I hope this is not one of your useless pranks. You started again. What prank are you talking about? I came to deliver this news. Immediately I heard it. I said, let me come and tell my good friend what I heard. You are telling me about prank. What prank again? Come off it. My friend, you may be right after all. Okay, Mo, I know it is you. Okay, Mo, I know it is you. I have seen your handwork. I know that the work you have started, you are able to perfect it. I'll be here, and the palace will come looking for me. And I will thank you with something on four legs, the biggest ever seen. Okay, Mo, I know it is you. I know it is you. It's a lie. It's not a lie. You have to believe it. Adoma, you know, is a princess. She is a princess from Umuakika Kingdom. <laughs> My own Adoma. 
So, why did she allow herself to be to be humiliated by the prince if she's actually a princess? She only wants to prove a point. That is it. No, this is unbelievable. I I can't believe this. <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> you have to believe it. She is a princess. <laughs> Adoma. So like this now, please don't chop breakfast. Mm. <laughs> that sounds him right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The best part was Azuka. You needed to see her face. I don't even notice her. Mm. <laughs> she cried like a baby. Thank it's too late. Mm. Yeah, she can't enjoy with us. <laughs> she enjoy me. Cheers, guys. Yes, who are you? Uh, how am I help you? Sorry, my name is Jide. I'm here to see Ada. Is she expecting you? Uh, not really, but just help me tell her that she's Jide, the head of uh, Palace Servants. Okay, so what happened? You wait for me, let me get from her. Jide, right? Yes, Jide. Hope you like the food. Mm. Mm. Very, Very nice. Love it. Greetings, my presence. There is someone at the gate who wishes to see you. And his name is Jide. Huh? Is it Jide? Yes, he's at the gate. Jide is at the gate? Yes. Oh, my God! <laughs> Let's 